today I wanted to make a video about how to be positive and optimistic and happy because I feel like lately I have been very positive about in my outlook of my life I guess and stuff happening in my life and I kind of wanted to share that because I feel like if you live a really negative life where you're always complaining about the weather or about a test that just got a, that you just got a assigned or like a writing assignment you just got assigned at school you're gonna just be like that unhappy loser who everyone hates and you're gonna end up hating yourself eventually so I feel like being positive and happy is good for everyone and I kind of wanted to share how I um, take something bad and make it good and kind of find find the beauty in everything because I feel like everything has some positiveness to it. I have been really guilty of always complaining about the rain. Oh, like, it's raining. My day is ruined like that all the time. And in reality, like rain is beautiful. If we didn't have rain, then we wouldn't be able to grow food. Like rain is the only way that we get all the, the fresh water and the earth and all. And rain is super, super awesome and important. Um, there in like Greek mythology or whatever mythology, they had like a rain god because rain is awesome. And today we had track practice and it's the first week of track. So if you guys do any kind of sport, I think you know that like even if you run off season and you run like a few months before and you get all work, you get all in, in shape. Once you get to the first week of the practice, you're like dying and you're like, I worked out for a month, why didn't it pay off? And um, you're super sore the whole time and practice is like, oh, practice is really bad. So that's what's been happening this week and I'm super sore right now. But today at practice we are doing, um, after we do a warm up and stretch, we do like exercises like high knees and butt kicks and lunges, stuff like that where you're like, in, you're in different lines and you like one um, row does it at a time kind of thing. And we were doing sprints or something, and I was like, I hate sprinting, I'm not a sprinter, this is not cool, why am I even here, I want to go home, I'm super sore, this is not cool. And that was kind of what was going through my head. And I was like, I just want to quit track, this is not fun. And so, what I kind of decided then, I kind of thought of a song, because Natalie Grant has this song on her Relentless album called Wonderful Life, and it goes, Cause the sun is shining And it's so good to be alive Everything's alright Cause all we ever needed Was the perfect day to be alive So no more wasting Waiting now for a wonderful life Cause it's a wonderful life Right now and that song was going through my head and so I looked behind me and through the trees I could see the sun it was just like huge and I looked at the sky and it was really pretty and we were at a park running and there were dogs and they were just running around happy and I was just like you know what I have legs that can move I can run I can jump I'm so lucky that I'm not in a wheelchair or um, wasn't born handicapped that I have the ability to move to run to play to work out my body and it kind of once I got more into the workout I was still like oh soreness but for a while there it was kind of like yeah I'm really lucky and when we're doing our math homework I know I don't like doing math homework because it's kind of monotonous it's just like oh what is this is pointless you know and the elementary math that we do in high school is really pointless I mean once you get to the upper level stuff with, which builds on the high school stuff, it's really important to like build your iPhone and, and like this camera and stuff, but right now it's completely pointless. And I always tell myself that and I'm like, I hate math, da 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 and I always complain in my mind to other people and all that stuff, like, oh, I had math today, oh. And it just is like, I'm so lucky I have hands that can write on a piece of paper. I'm lucky that I am smart enough to take pre-calculus. I'm lucky that there are other people who love math in the world. And another thing that my philosophy teacher was actually talking about, he just gave an example and he's like, what if you hate math? If you're always like, I hate math, I hate math, that's not fixing the problem. And so what you really need to do is just stop saying that you hate math. And I've started doing that. I've stopped thinking it, I've stopped saying it, and 
I've been doing better in math this semester so far, which has only been like three weeks, but still, I'm gonna get an A this semester. I know I am. <laughs> and so, positive thinking just will completely transform your life and it'll make you be more happy with how you with your life so then other people will see how happy you are and kind of want to be friends with you and so it's just this huge thing like then those friends will be happier and it just like builds and builds and builds and so I think being happy it's contagious and you don't need to be a bubbly obnoxious person to be positive about life you just have to kind of whenever you catch yourself complaining about something think what you're taking for granted because I think that so many times I take everything I have for granted like I have an amazing family yeah we fight sometimes but hey my parents are still together I have an awesome sister who's really smart and she helps me with stuff um, I have an awesome bedroom room tour is coming up in the future once I clean my room um, I have a really nice house to live in we have good food I go to an awesome school um, I'm able to run and I'm able to be on the debate team. Like, there's so many things to be thankful for. And I think that when we focus on the things that we do have, then it just makes all of life seem so much happier. And you can't buy happiness with money. You can't buy happiness with, you can't make a checklist and be like, this is what I need to be happy. You can't, it's kind of, it's very individualistic, but it's also kind of general in that if you're happy then if you have a thankful heart then you can be happy that's actually from veggie tales um if you guys have watched veggie tales then you're awesome but um the madam blueberry one where she goes to the stuff mart and then her tree house falls down <gasps> just gave it away but you guys should see that if you have it and the little theme song is because a thankful heart is a happy I'm glad for what I have, that's an easy way to stop For the love that God chose, cause he listens to our prayers That's why I say thanks every day Just the next time you're complaining about anything, just think that you're lucky to be alive and you're lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. One of my friends, Chelsea, her go-to quote for Facebook statuses is, tell yourself how lucky you are. And I need to do that more and I need to thank God more for everything I have because I know I have an awesome life, a really awesome life and I can make it even awesomer and you guys can make your lives even awesomer by being positive in how you think throughout the day in your lives.